Man of the match was Stuart Bannigan. He's joined a reporter, Kenny Crawford. Stuart, frantic finish there. You got the point. You probably feel you deserved it. Yeah, I think we probably deserved a bit more, to be honest with you. I thought we were the, the better team in the first half. Um, they get a penalty for half, you know, at the time. I'm not sure. It's, it's got a hard one. It's just smashed towards them, and I don't think he gets hand out of the way. So, disappointed with that decision, but we showed good fight towards the end there. Kept going, and um, if it was a team that was going to win it, it looked like it was going to be us. Yeah, and Ross Stalker to the captain, stepping up with a captain's goal yep. near the end there. Brilliant goal. Scored a few this season. Um, he's added that to his game, and cracking player, and a, a great goal. But we deserved it. I think everybody watching that game today, you know, Kamarnock are probably the, the favourites for the league, but. You know, we're, we're right, there, right there with them. Um, we're, we're a good side, and um, I think we showed that tonight. Only one defeat in your last 13 now, Stuart. That's a great record. Yeah, it's a good run for us. A good run for us. Um, but we know we need to keep going. There's five teams up at the top there fighting for it. Um, and every game's so important. Um, you know, disappointed to, to draw that tonight, as I said. But, um, you know, when you look back at it being 1-0 down, we fought back and we've, we've got a point. How was it in midfield, the battle? Oh, this is a good battle in there. It's, it's tough, tough conditions. Um, They've got cracking players in there that have played at the top level for a few years, um, you know, back and forth, but um, we've sort of, we sort of more than held our own. And can Patrick Thistle do it? Can they get promoted? I don't know, we need to see, we need to see, but we showed we're, we're in there amongst it. Um, and we're, we're a match for MD in the league, so we'll wait and see, but we'll give it all. Well, Stuart Bannigan, thanks very much. You're the cinch man of the match, well done. Thank you, cheers. Thanks, guys. Great performance from Stuart Bannigan, but the talking point after this match will undoubtedly be the penalty decision that was awarded to Kilmarnock. Let's discuss that now and get the views of Leanne Crichton and Chris Iwellamo. Richard Foster clearly didn't think it was a penalty, <laughs> but what do our pundits think? Over to you. Yeah, for me, I, I think he's really hardly done by Richard Foster. I think he recovers um, a great deal to get himself back into a position to defend the cross. And for me, I think unless he puts his hands behind his body, which is an unnatural position, I actually think it's probably borderline on his sleeve, actually. You know, it's <laughs> he does everything that he possibly can. And um, I think as a coach or a manager, if your player starts to tuck your, your hands behind it, you know, sure. you don't coach that. That's not the way you play football. I mean, Chris, I think most of us thought it was a very harsh decision. I mean, from a, to play devil's advocate for the referee, they only get one shot to look at it, yep. maybe Richard Foster's got his arm outstretched behind him, but it's, it's, it, <laughs> I'm, it, I'm clutching at straws here. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he made the decision very, very quickly, the referee, and that, I'm surprised, you know, Richard Foster's breaking his neck to get there, he's in position, you know, his arm's behind, it's, it's basically, it's, it's, a, it's in a natural position from where he's trying to run into, yeah, his hand is uh, basically beside him, but it's behind him. I just can't believe that the referees gave that. You know, there was a similar one, as well, uh, that went the other way. I think it was off Hodson arm in, in the first half. Yeah. And it was we both thought penalty kick. Me and Leanne hope put his arm up for it, but there was it wasn't it wasn't given. The referee never thought it's the exact same thing. Well, I know Ross Doherty, the Partick Thistle captain, was not at all happy about that penalty decision. Uh, he obviously got uh, his way with a goal at the end there. He's joined our reporter Kenny Crawford. Ross, we'll get to the penalty award in a minute, but that was a bit special in 87 minutes from you. <laughs> it was no bad. It was no bad, obviously kind of opened up a wee bit, so I think somebody was shouting right to pass it, and I kind of ignored them, and thankfully I did. Yeah, you've been very humble about it. That's four for the season. You've stepped up as captain a few times and scored a couple of special goals this campaign. Yeah, I think, well, the way kind of Stuart Bannigan plays, it kind of allows me to go as well. Um, more often than not, before, I was always kind of sitting, so it's allowed me to get forward, and luckily enough, I can grab a few goals this season. And you'll feel it's more than you deserved, and as a team in this game, at least one point, you could have had three. I think kind of for them they watching it, uh, they would have seen that we were probably the better team. Uh, they started well, but I think after 20 minutes we kind of dominated the majority of the game. And what was your view on the penalty? The opinion kind of from the, the viewing public is it's a bit harsh. <laughs> At the time, I thought it was worse than it is. I've seen it back, and it's his hand there. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and I think there was one similar for us in the first half. Um, I don't know if us is a penalty, but kind of theirs isn't. It's definitely not a penalty. And in terms of the resilience and the character you guys showed to get back into it, that speaks volumes, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think kind of we could have we could have folded, uh, especially after dominating the game. Um, and you go behind when we're on top, so it just shows the character. Uh, the boys coming on, done brilliant for us as well. Worked hard, so uh, that's all you can really ask for as a team. And Ian McCall barking <coughs> instructions all the way through that game. How much of that do you hear? <laughs> some of I switch on, <laughs> some of I choose not to. Um, but no, obviously I think he kind of drive the team and it gives us a lift as well. Obviously there's kind of less fans in here so we need to do it ourselves. Um, 
So it was good that we've eventually got the equaliser, yeah. Well, Ross, absolutely brilliant goal. Well done. Cheers, Kenny. Ross Doherty, he was absolutely raging at the penalty decision, Leanne, but he channelled his rage well. He did, but what a run this is as well from Lewis Mayo stepping into the, the game. It's what you like to see from your defenders, and I love that, that he, he just ignored the shout. I think it was perhaps Richard Foster in the right-hand side. I actually thought he, he was going to play him in myself. Um, you know, but good on him for taking the shot on, taking the responsibility. He mentioned he's been given that freedom with Stuart Bannigan in there and it allows him to get further up the pitch. And at that point in the game, you need someone to step up and, and he was the player tonight. Oh, what a fantastic goal, Chris. Excellent, excellent. Like you say, I think that relationship with Bannigan and, and Doherty is you know, very evident there, isn't it? But like you say, Mayo driving forward. And then to just the first touch, the strike in itself was, was outstanding. You know, it left uh, him with no, no chance whatsoever. But like you say, they were, they were, they were dominant. You know, they used the ball well, linking up well, and like you say, the goal to top it off was, was outstanding. Well, Ross Doherty certainly felt that Partick Thistle were the better team overall. I wonder what Ian McCall thinks. He's with Kenny. Ian, I'm going to give you a choice. We can talk about the equaliser first or the penalty award. What do you pick? Uh, well, the penalty award, I mean, it was a shocker. I mean, I, I, I like Nick. He used to teach my brother, but he's, I mean, he's had an absolute shocker there. It's just, uh, we've just seen it. And if that's a penalty, the one we had in the first half is more of a penalty. I don't know what Richards meant to do. His hand's not in an unnatural position. It's at the side of his body. And, and, you know, the one in the first half was far clearer. I've seen both of them. Our guy, media guy, has showed me. So, and that looked like, you know, we looked very dominant throughout the game. Uh, we had two or three really good chances in the first half. But, you know, you score late and you take a draw and, 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 and there's relief there. But I thought we deserved to win the game. Have you crossed Nick Walsh's path? Just oh, Nick's a good lad. I really like him. I just had a shocker there. I've had a shocker a million times. What about Ross Doherty's equaliser? That was a bit special. Yeah, it was a good strike. I thought him and Bannigan were head and shoulders above everybody in the pitch. Um, it was a great hit. And he's got that, you know, he, for me, in the last five, six, seven years, he's always played as a holding player. You know, going forward, that might change because he can strike the ball really. He showed a great goal against him, Fairland. He put it through in the, the cup. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, it was great. I'd love to have the 5,000 here because the place would have went mental at the end. And finally, it increases that record now to only one defeat in uh, 13 games. That's, a br that's brilliant. Yeah, and, and, you know, anybody watching the game, if Kamar are favourites, I'm sure Derek will want to do a bit of work in the next two or three weeks. I'm sure he will. Then, you know, we're no far off from that, that's for sure. OK, Ian, thanks. Cheers, for Kenny, thanks.